What is going on you guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video. This is my channel, Moving Weight Fishing, and we are gassing up real quick. I got the boss, Chief O, behind me. Any words from Chief? No? No words? Chief doesn't have anything to say right now. We're docking up. We're getting gas. And the old John Meister. Hey, what's up, John? I have an inspirational quote. Okay. Work hard until your haters ask if you're hiring. I heard it from... <laughs> Follow me on Instagram if you're not already, if you want to hear that quote. But for real, we are gassing up right now. I know I said that three times, and then we're going to go run out the inlet, catch some live bait, and then hopefully catch some kingfish. See you guys when we're doing it. All right, boys. Got to catch some bait. Daddy? Look at all these greenies. Oh, these are beautiful baits, too. Greenies. That's what we're catching for bait. Chewing, too. Look at this. Second, yeah, you can see them on top. Second you drop down, they're biting. And I'm just sitting and letting them load down. Setting, I'm holding it down there, letting them load on there, boys. That's what we're doing. Well, there's kingfish being caught at the bait spot, boys. Hey, speak up, you can't hear this wind. Oh! Kingfish being caught at the bait rock. There's a couple really nice petite baits in here. You guys can see, this is some absolute bait carnage right now. They're literally sitting right under the boat. We got about probably 60 baits and dropping for five minutes straight. Right ahead of you, Chief. Got anything to say to the camera? It is unbelievable out here. Some of the bait boys over there, you know, very Miami-esque, very Miami-esque. Look at this. Are you kidding me? That is a very nice ray. It's very Rambo-esque, but it's not. All right, guys, so there's a lot of kingfish at the spot we're catching bait at. And uh, we're gonna fish a bait real quick. We're gonna, take a, we're gonna take a drift on the bait spot. So, got my Toronto tour in here. Triple hook, and I'm gonna throw a hook at Greeny. We're gonna send it out. Let's put the head mount on and get it done. Get him, John. Oh, God, I'm getting a fresh bait. That was instant, dude. That's very Snook-esque out here. Now nah, you flip them. Oh, they're way out here. That's three bites. Okay. Yeah. Right. Nice job. Oh, <laughs> Bait twitch one time. See ya. Mm -hmm. Coming up. Oh, oh porpoise. 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 Oh, porpoise. If you get this, I'm gonna be secure the bait. Oh no, he's running. There he is. He's underneath it. Right? <laughs> That fish. That was the most unreal chase of my life. Alright, guys, starting up another drift here. First drift caught two fish. Almost lost them to a port by. He had to do some maneuvering. Another throw of greeny here. Oh, Goodness. That bait, that bait was ready to rumble. You might loosen your drag. It's a king. Oh boy. Oh. Might have to loosen your drag a little. I'd literally, I'd literally go sit in the cabin. You want a gaff? John's got gotcha. you. Porpoise is on him right there. Let's flip him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did you guys see the size of that dolphin? Turn upside down on that oh, fish. Quick little redemption shot there. That is three kingfish for us now. We missed a bunch on that drift. We got three fish. Oh, gee. I will literally throw my rod in the water. And this 
just feel a leaf if I see Chief hooking out of Are you? Are you kidding me? John's literally eating a little bit of pink. All right, you guys, we just set up on another drift. And what we're doing is, like I said, we are at the bait spot, just where we caught all our bait this morning. We haven't left, we've been fishing the same spot. And we are starting up above the wreck where all the bait is and then drifting through it. And then right when we come outside of the bay, those kingfish are sitting back behind it and you're singling your bait out. They see a nervous wiggler. You see a nervous live bait mixed into a school of a bunch of fresh live baits that they don't want to chase around and catch. Cars are on a hook, they're they're hard to, or they're easier to eat for the king fish show. What do you got a petite oh, belay? Yeah. Petite Benit, John? Oh my god, the boys are dealing them. Let that not be a bonita. I look very bonita ass cheese. I look uh-huh, uh-huh, Chief. What is the deal with these little choppers here? They've been here for weeks, too. They're very petite. Tell me those aren't some of the more petite bluefish you've ever seen. I suppose so. Just a nice day at the old BS here. That's a good king, Chief. I'm gonna play him nice and light. Oh, no, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Sharks on him. Oh, Jack, you got him, you got him. I'm playing him nice and light. Oh, shut porpoise is off. Alrighty guys, my GoPro died. The second I fished a nice petite bait, I had a nice kingfish, probably a 15 pounder on top. Porpoise was chasing him, I had put him in free school, ended up losing him, porpoise ate him. The old John Meister though, just caught a nice petite one. Chief lost another. No surprise from Chief. He's on the struggle bus, but. Hit it? I just mean, I can't, I can't tell. It's fighting awful beneath ass, but. Oh, that look. King, it's a king. Yeah, right? uh, uh, yeah, it's a king. I'll hook a king. I'll get the moving weight gaff here. I don't do any of that. He's got. John's got the fish. Yes, you do. The moving weight gaff here. The long reach. Ah. Uh, you're good. Don't put too much pressure on him. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Close. You can't hold him out. I can't. Close. John, Close. I cannot gaff a fish Close. if you bring his head out of the water. Uni knot, 50 pound leader. Golly, Trip. Are you kidding me, Chief? These fish are literally. Oh, I haven't seen oh, any I literally caught. Wow. I am three Oh, Mark and Kings. Oh, are you are you kidding me? I go, oh, Mark and Kings, you're? Oh, Chief you just Chief just whacked my GoPro off my head. That was one of the more cheapest things I've ever experienced. It's a good fish. Ah! We're doing it. Look, that's talk about coming back for the scraps. That they, is the definition of far back. Since John does absolutely nothing. Wow. The amount of disrespect out here. I throw the ice on the boat, I put you know the rods on the boat. What? I just do One, stuff. Two, three, I catch four, the boat. What is that, six? Yeah. We should have 15 in the boat, dude. Greedy fishing. That's all I'm gonna say, yeah. I agree. So with these greenies, we keep saying greeny fishing. Oh, Christmas. We keep saying greeny fishing. These thread fin herring, even though we don't call them that, we call them greenies, are super hardy baits. 
So with the smaller kingfish like this, when they bite, it's hard to hook the fish. It's hard to get the uh, hook out of the greening into the kingfish. With a sardine, you literally just jerk your rod. The hooks come right out of the sardine because it's a softer bait and you hook that kingfish. Nine times out of 10 versus a greenie, five times out of 10, so. But we're fishing with what we got. We're gonna pull another drift. Here's Jonathan ask here. Oh, wow. Little, this a little bit here. That one's gonna get your baby. Come on. Oh, go down, go down. How are you kidding? Oh, whoa. Uh-huh. No, you gotta train them. When you hook them in the throat like this, it makes the baits go down, except for sometimes they don't always squawk. John's about to get your. Okay, this one's not cooperating, see? So, he turns into a chummer. Bye-bye. Got me another one. I've caught a couple on giant, giant greenies now. It's very risky. One of the more risky things I've ever done, but. I have a big bait here. Very risky, Jonathan, but he is he's cooperating. Like, very, I have to hook him in the side of the face ask. Come on, Rodney, the rod holder. You haven't let me down in years, years. Thing literally, Rodney literally lets me down every day. Now, when I'm mutton fishing, that's a different story. Rodney don't let me down. Mm hmm. With a chicken tendy in my mouth. Hey, Chief, I appreciate if you didn't say anything like that. Did you see? Did you see me get tight in the rod holder? Are you kidding me? This is a big fish, bro. Oh God! Shut up! Oh, oh, you're getting whacked. Chief, get him, get him, get him, get him. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, give me a gap. What? What? Are, what in the world? Are, what in the world are you two doing? Hey, Chief, I appreciate seeing you gap a fish on your first try. Oh, I'm just kidding. That video was funny. That video was so. Let me see. Oh, oh yeah. Was a... Oh, get him, Chief. Right under the boat. Nice king. Uh huh. The old Chief Meister. You know where this is going. Oh God! You better do something, Chief. Pull for your life. I'm coming. Pull for your life, Chief. For your life. Look out! <laughs> For your life, Chief! I'm behind you with the gaff. <laughs> Chief! For your life! Chiefo? Chiefo just pulled for his life. That was unbelievable. One couple more drifts. I mean, we're picking a couple fish a drift. About one to two fish a drift. Eight kingfish, eight kingfish total. Oh, you're getting bit, no? Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh my God. I'm not, I'm done looking at John. Oh, he oh, came back for the scraps. Let me just talk dirty to you, Jonathan. Is that a bonita? No, that's a king all day. That was literally the most kingfish ass thing of my life. That is so king-esque. I will be shook if that is not a king. Oh, I'm, I'm getting chased. I saw the I saw the bite skis, John. He, he, came he yerped it. God, what a little petiter. No way. Wow. Hooks hooked popped right. D hooked him with his eyes. That's a jumbo. I had to redeem myself there. Yeah, you did. Perfect. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> On the bump troll! Oh my god, I just got whacked right there. I get your gap, I get your gap. It's actually a nice one. It's actually a nice one. Keep us in gear, Chief. We'll, we'll just lay up on a nice another one here. Nice. 
That's a nice one, John. Unreal. The instant bump troll shoe. That was more instant than anything I've ever seen in my life. Love it. That was a king, dude. I know, it's a big king. Put more line on there, there's like two yards. No, I had a ton of line on it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, dude, whoa. under me. I had a ton of line out, I just, I need to put more drag on it. Yeah, I got one. Yeah. What in the, is it a mackerel? Is that a mackerel? It's a mackerel. What? That's a jumbo. Jumbo. That is a jumbo. That's pretty much a jumbo. You had a kingfish. This mackerel scream drag. One nice mackerel, a nice petite beneath, one kingfish, three kingfish bites, maybe four. John just broke something off that was big. I had that one big fish sky, and we're sticking to it here. Drop a like right now on this video if you guys are enjoying this video. We're out here for you guys today. Filming, filming. Isn't that right, Chief? That's right. And we're marking kingfish right now. I'm about to get a bite. So let's put the head mount. Ah. Let's put the head mount back on. Let's see if it makes a difference. Oh, king just got on me right there. <laughs> Skosh! That's a. It's exciting. It is very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, keeping it. Okay, keeping it gear for John Meister. He's going to get a bite. There's always two of them. That was a sick eat, dude. I got him. Oh boy. Yeah. Nice, Chief. Good one. You got bit off, John? John's gotten some kingfish up because we have to gut these fish before we sell them to the market. We're com we're commercial fishing. We're not. We don't eat any of these. These all go to the market. We're getting like three dollars, three fifty power right now for these kings, and we caught eleven. I mean, we didn't make a lot of money, but better than nothing, you know. Paid for gas. Paid for gas. Made a little bit of money. Hey, it's better than sitting at the sitting on the couch, like John does every day of his life. Suspect. But, wow. John, what are you doing right now? Nice boat trip. I'm just gutting some kingfish. And as he's gotten them, Chief's keeping the guts. Can't even tell you what for. Maybe I'll show you in a video. Shh. Se secret bait. If you know, if you know what the bait is, comment. Or if you know what the fish is that we're using the bait for, comment down below. Only OG old timers know about that. Make that slit right up there. Grab the guts. Boom, just like that. Pretty cans. These are all going back on ice in a minute. I just gotta take a little thumbnail for you guys, but we will see you back at Chifo's house and we're gonna try and lay up on some dock slots. So see you then. Alrighty you guys, we are back at the dock now. And uh, John's very fired up on these dock slots here. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get some dinner. For the boys, that's it. He is. Doing here. He is. Are you gonna catch one? What is this deal, dude? I just got your. I'm gonna put on a single hook, take my triple hook off, and see if I can't catch one for you guys. Let's do it, Chief. Watch this, Tom Swinkery. I'm gonna hook my greenie right in the top of the back here, so he's nice and platiting around on on the surfonius. Look at this. Watch me get thumped right at the boat. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna get. Ooh. You're about to get your. Oh, John, I just got smoked. Oh, get him, Oh, just a nice platier. Skosh! Wow. I remember when I couldn't snook fish, John. Wow. Are you kidding? Little snook here. He is way short of the slot size. We we're gonna shoot for a keeper. This one's not gonna make the cut, but he is pretty. And they're fun to catch. We'll let him go. See ya, buddy. Thanks for playing. Come back again next year. When you're slot and I can ice you. 
catch on a couple. Oh! Oh my gosh, I thought a fish blew up. John's got a little snook on here. John, that thing's petite. Ooh, petite. Nice. Like the whole really? In the John mix mix. I literally told you. John Mexical. Get him over here. You need some landing help? Here. Oh, oh, we might have a keeper, John Meist. We might have, I don't know. Relax, relax. I'm not gonna freaking horse him. Nah, uh, he's short. He did choke it though. He's 26. That might be a keeper. Might be a keeper in our. We're gonna go ahead and measure this fish here. I'm guessing 26. Oh yeah, just barely 27 inches. Beautiful little snookerton. Not bad for a dock slot. Not bad for a dock slot. He's close. One more inch, and he would have made the cut. See ya. Keeper. Oh, oh! I just got smoked. Oh my God! Oh, oh, he's a little petiter. Dude, they're eating it under the boat. Are you tight? No. Not the brain guy. Dude, every single one of my fish have been directly under the boat. All right, you guys, that is it. We are calling it a day. Me and the old John Meister yeah. laid up on like four four dock slots for you guys. We call them dock slots for no reason. Nice little snack at the dock. We let them all go. They were all under. We caught one that was 27, just an inch short. We didn't make the settlements cut. But um, I do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and drop a like on it. It means a lot to me. It helps YouTube push it to other viewers and uh, it gets more views. I don't thought John's got a bite. And it gets more views. So I would appreciate that. Also subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed. A lot of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed to the channel and it doesn't really make sense. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit that post notification bell so it notifies you when I post a new video. And one more thing, if you guys haven't already purchased a pair of Ocean Eyes, these are the sunglasses I wear every single day, you can go on their website, buyoceaneyes.com. I'll have a link down below and it's popping up right here. You can use code ADAM10, save 10% off on a pair of Ocean Eyes. Best sunglasses in the game, no questions on that. Wear them every single day, I'm out here every day. Posting two, three times a week, so stay tuned. Like I said, subscribe. Till next time, moving weights out.